Yo, what's the word, gang? So, got this news to report. We had heard about this a few days ago. Um, when I was speaking with WAC 100, he was saying how Blue Da Vinci was nervous that Big Meech was coming home in less than a month. Well, it looks like it's official. Big Meech is home. And um, he actually be on house arrest up until 2026. And I guess they avoiding the halfway house due to, you know, it being a long-term situation for the next couple of years. They decided to, you know, say go ahead and give him house arrest. So what city that is, I don't know just yet. Uh, this is still breaking news, but Big Meech is home, family. Um, you got Dogface TV, you know what I'm saying, definitely connected to Detroit heavily. He even posted it, Big Meech is home, and uh, you know what I'm saying, a few different people in my inbox saying that as well. So, you know, Big Meech is home, family. Like, I doubt if he, you know, going to be doing some, you know, any videos or something. I think I was the one who reported when uh, his brother was home, you know what I'm saying, so... You know, yeah, it's official, though. Big Meech is home, and uh, welcome home, Big Meech. Let's see how this go, you know, because I know the BMF series, you know what I'm saying, has definitely been the highlight of, you know, the culture the past couple of years, and, you know, just seeing his story play out on the screen, you know, even though some of the story is a little bit fabricated to protect the innocent, you know what I'm saying, or the guilty, you dig? But, um, you know, some of the things been changed up. His son definitely shit getting the check off of that you know what i'm saying as well as his family so that's always a good look because a lot of times with these street guys shit out the prison you don't usually don't see nothing but stories bro some of them be able to you know benefit or profit off of these stories that they ain't done time for you know what i'm saying risk their freedom you know in, in most cases to provide for their family but uh big meach he's you know one of them guys you know what i'm saying like a lot of people will say that ain't nobody did it like big meach Ain't nobody did it like Big Meech, bro. They'll say that, like, Big Meech, the way he ran what he ran was something different. Ran like a Fortune 500. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang. And all the pretty chicks are all Yeah, he, he released, but he ain't all the way released. He, they, a lot of people thought he was going to the halfway houses, but a couple of sources from Detroit told me that, um, he ain't in the halfway house. He don't go get on house arrest like his brother into 2026. That's what's up. Yo, Wax. Up, Yo, you heard about Big Meech out? Yeah, he got out, I believe. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Probably the halfway. He's going to be there about six months. Yeah, no, nah, somebody close sources tell me, though, he's going to be in the, um, he don't, they released him on house arrest into 2026. Yeah. Not yeah, happening, boy. Not happening. Nigga, that nigga did over 20 years. He's going to do the 180 days in the halfway house. In the federal be free, halfway huh? house. Yeah, that's not happening, nigga. Too much freedom. Yeah, you think they going to... Because you know his brother. His brother's still on house rest. He got five. No, his brother probably did the motherfucking halfway house. I think his brother might have did some shit. He he got out because uh health concerns or some shit like that. No, no, no. We well, we know that's why they say he got out. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Every nigga I know got out because of health concerns. Yeah. <laughs> died in six months. So yeah, that, that's cap. Yeah, like most niggas they let out because of health concerns. They died, nigga. My homie Big Rock, Big Rock Chisholm, the one Pac used to always talk about in his songs. Same way. Let him out. Nigga was dead two months. Yeah, I know. When they use it, that, look at um, remember um, Tupac step daddy, same way. They let him oh, out. Oh yeah, dead yeah, they four did. months. Mm. They let you out when they know you're about to die. They don't let you out, nigga, to live another 10, 15 years. So you know, I don't believe this situation right either. But half his squad told him the majority of niggas that told was from his side anyway. Yeah, from Southwest T side, right? Yeah, yeah, majority of niggas. Then I see some nigga put on some old bleary ass paperwork, but you can't even read shit. 
they keep sending me. Uh, Sosa or somebody? Uh, Sosa, Sosa. Uh, yeah, he put something up, but it's bleary. It's supposed to be on blue, but it's bleary as a motherfucker. You can't read shit. So yeah, I, I ain't seen that. Hey, what's some Detroit? Some Detroit dudes trying to link with you? Oh, mud? No, I know mud. He came in Somebody there. Somebody hit me up, told me, tell whack that. It's some Detroit dudes that's linked to Blue Da Vinci, but they really linked to Blue uh, Big U, too. Trying I mean, to uh, link up with Wack. We all in Detroit. You know, Big U fuck with me. Trick Trick real tough. Right. Yeah. Our location all right? All right. Love you. I love you, too. So, uh, yeah, uh, what you call the herd is talking, and, and uh, cause he heard that conversation. And he like, yo, what's this nigga talking about? He came up here moving the crowd on me's block. Whack. You remember I told you five months ago, Blue's supposed to come up here and shoot a video. I yeah. said, you did tell me that. He said, that's all that was, bro. This wasn't about no come up here and make me look no top of way and none of that kind of shit. So Blue just was talking. I'm going to be real, bro. He thought the nigga was getting out next month. Dude was fucking shook. I've never seen dude that nervous, my nigga. When he was That's on the crazy. phone, a lot of shit he was saying was like, you know how nigga just be babbling, but they don't make sense? I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Saying a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> and he did it so much to where he fucked up our relationship. Because he was just anything and anybody he felt that he can reach to that made him feel secure. That's what he was doing. Because when he hit me like... The nigga FaceTime me first. And he like, whack, I need to holler at you. If you my brother, you gonna hear me out. Certain shit gotta stop. Like some shit like that, right? So I called the nigga out back. And he like, well, we gotta holler in person. So I warned him. I said, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. But understand this, Blue. In person, watch what you say to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't understanding what he what he talking about. So for two days, he like, we gotta holler if you my brother. Yeah. I think you went out. I think you went out. Nah, he went out, bro. Yeah, you hear hear about this though, huh, Rich? What's that? Some new shit on Blue Avenue? Yeah. No, Big Meech, he free. Oh, Big Meech out? Yeah. Well, shit, he did his he did what he was supposed to do then for himself, right? Yep, yep. Now, shit, niggas just got shit. We need to be on that right there. What Wax saying? Wax saying he must take his health back. No, no, um. Mm -mm. That ain't why he got out. I was talking. We was talking about his brother. His brother Southwest T got out because of his health concerns. Oh, so they let Southwest T out too? Yeah, they been let Southwest T out. Like, yeah, he years. been out for a few years now. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that nigga work at the clothing store. If it's D. It's